Hello folks, welcome back to the channel today. I got my little fishing buddy here. We're working on a DIY project on a little project that I've seen on YouTube, but I've also seen a manufactured one uh, in a store. Uh, it was something that really caught my eye and it was something that I thought I would try to build myself. There are some other YouTube videos out there uh, with regard to this uh, bucket that is used for outdoor cleaning with uh, your wild game, your, your breast off of your ducks or, or dove also your fish fillets but i decided i wanted to build one that's something i like to do around here and um, i thought i would share with uh, you my bucket that i'm going to build here but what we're building is an outdoor cleaning bucket that is used for fish fillets or duck breasts and things like that i think you could probably use it for some other stuff but uh, it's less than 15 dollars is what we've spent i think it could be done a little bit uh, cheaper however the parts that i was able to get uh, during this uh, COVID uh, was a little bit less than $15. Um, we were out at the Bassmaster Classic this year. A uh, brand new bucket that was free. So if you had to buy the bucket or if you had an extra bucket around your house, you know, that may uh, affect the cost or whatever. But again, these parts that I have are parts that I was able to get during this uh, shortage of uh, parts during the COVID pandemic. And then, of course, we are all... Uh, trying to get over that so if you've been sick i'm glad you're doing better and uh, with thoughts and prayers with you but uh we were lucky we got it but we we survived so anyways uh we're making an outdoor cleaning station bucket and it's gonna basically uh water's gonna be pumped in with a water hose it's gonna swirl around here and we'll clean any type of feathers or any type of fi extra fish scales and things just like an extra set of hands while you're out cleaning those fish fillets or uh cleaning those duck breasts but uh free bucket the rest of the stuff here i spent about 14 dollars. i think it was 78 cents on had to get a little piece of pvc pipe this is one inch schedule 40 so i think it could probably be made with a uh, half inch or a three quarter inch but this was some stuff i was able to find due to the parts that i was able to find um what we have here i uh, got a 90 it is threaded on the female and the male side and the reason i wanted to do that is when i drill a hole in this bucket here I want to be able to screw this in and tighten it up. Now this bucket here, it does not have to be watertight. In other words, uh, it, I don't have to put silicone around this um, once it's in here. Um, so I wanted to uh, be able to tighten that up. And then of course I have another, another female uh, uh, threaded piece and we'll use that as our 90. Then we're going to put this uh, vertical one inch, we'll cut that off. We'll put a cap on the end. We'll have to drill some holes. Now I do have this here. This is where we're going to possibly could have, you could have done something a little bit cheaper. I had to figure out how a way to make my water hose connect into my bucket. So uh, what I've done here is I'll cut a piece of this stock off here and um, use it to connect. And then the most expensive pieces that I actually bought were these two female um, slip-on. Uh, pieces that we use to help and correct a, uh, a water hose uh, uh, problem or something and I've gotten two females so I can have one screwed on to the to the to the end of my PVC and then I'll have my water hose piece and then I'll be able to screw my other water hose on so we'll get those here together shortly and put those on and then basically this will all be one solid piece going through the bucket and then we'll use it to clean some fish so stay tuned and uh, stay with us here. We appreciate you watching and um, we look forward to uh, more videos. Please check those out, but we'll, we'll get back to this bucket build here shortly. Thank you. Well, we got it all put together, and here's the final product here. You can see here where the pipe goes through the bucket. Have our water hose section here that we built. We drilled our couple of holes across the top here. You don't want it to fill completely up, but you don't want it running over. Um, so that'll help with the uh, water that will seep out. 
One thing different that I did inside mine is I added this little bit of this uh, insulation or pool noodle just to keep this here where it's a little sturdier tied off with a zip tie. But uh, fun little DIY project myself and my boy did. Again, uh, less than $15. Let's go hook it up to the water hose and actually uh, see how it works. We got it hooked up here to the water hose, got it filled up. You can see the holes at the top that we drilled, allowing the water to escape where it's not overflowing the top. The water hose down here where it goes into the bucket has um, some space in it, which will allow also water to escape where it's not uh, filling the bucket up and, and basically just uh, overflowing the top here. So overall, I'm very, very pleased with this small DIY project. I got a couple of uh, gloves here, and um, I'm going to put them in there where you can see how much it swirls. You can see there that if those were any type of fillets or any type of breast or anything, that that would just sit there and swirl around and uh, clean those up very, very well, just like what it would be if you were cleaning them in the sink and everything. But Overall, very, very happy with this DIY project. Again, cost less than 15 bucks. So uh, make yourself one of these. It'll make things a lot uh, easier on you when you're out uh, cleaning those fish that you have been out fishing for. Until next time, take care, stay safe. Take a youngster out fishing. You never know what type of impact that will make. And until next time, shoot straight, tight lines.